Hello YouTube. Mr. Brandon Fails here with a tutorial this time. Um what I have for you here is how to edit the vbulletin config.php file php.new. So my website it's not nulled, but I downloaded a nulled version as an example. And this tutorial will be for the 000webhost.com. Now I put this in my documents. Now, first off, what you need to do is rename this and delete the dot new. Now it's a PH PHP file. Now you want to click open. And then now you want to select the program from a list of installed programs. So what you need to do is find a text editor. I do not like Microsoft Word for this, so what we're going to use today is WordPad. Now basically it tells you what to do but um it basically tell tell tells you what to do. So on zero 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 webhost dot com you have to click from your control panel my SQL under the services tab and then create a my SQL and then and then it'll give you a database name like mysql something dot whatever so I'll, I'm gonna be showing you guys what your website will look like so yeah now your technical email I will put the email that I sh shared with you for, for the YouTube channel. No, no. Mr. Brandon Fails at gmail.com. So, what you want to be careful of, what I did at first is I put this in here, and then when I looked at the manual, it was not right so I had to change all of this other stuff well that wasn't a good thing now your server name for zero zero web host it, it would be I believe server whatever let's just do 70 dot zero 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 web host dot com And then your your master did that database username and pa password. Now they're gonna get when you do the MySQL, they're gonna give you a number. And then your username, so 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 it would be a whatever dash. And I put FTW because that's my f favorite phrase. And then just ty type in the password you put. And yeah. And I believe that's it. And yeah. So if you guys have any questions, then please don't hesitate to PM me. Don't hesitate to e email me. Whatever. Okay, bye. And you also want to save, but I'm going to click don't save since this is just an example.